Well, we're learning new information about billionaire Dan Gilbert's health scare. He suffered a stroke over the holiday weekend and looks like he's on the road to recovery. Mm -hmm. We're thankful for that. Mm -hmm. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner speaking with the head of the Stroke Center at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit about Gilbert's treatment. Dan Gilbert is being treated at Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak, but an expert here at Henry Ford says he can draw some pretty good conclusions based on the information they've released so far. I would actually call this a major stroke. And take a look at the catheter procedure that's now the standard of care. These small wire meshes are inserted through a tube into the groin and guided up in blood vessels to the brain. A blood clot comes up and lodges in the brain artery. Then we cross the blockage with this microcatheter, and then we deploy the device. It's called a stent retriever. And then we slowly pull it out, and the blood clot comes with it. Had he not been treated, this would have been a life-altering, potentially catastrophic stroke. Dan Gilbert is a billionaire, a native Detroiter, helping rebuild his city, renovating and developing nearly 100 buildings in downtown. He's hands-on all of his businesses. Odds are he's going to return to normal. Um, or nearly normal if the procedure was successful. The early signs of a stroke are in the acronym FAST, face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call 911. It was reported Gilbert was already in the hospital when the stroke hit. For the rest of us, the best outcome during a stroke is to get to a hospital where they have a full-time stroke response team ready. Hopefully, they were able to do the entire process from arrival to decision to taking him to the operating room within 60 to 90 minutes. Treatment results with a stroke are immediate. That means the people close to and the medical team treating Dan Gilbert certainly know. They'll let the rest of us know as they see fit. In Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.